Parts of the south side are under a boil water advisory, including Tinseltown, UNF, and the St. John's Town Center. JEA says traces of E. coli were detected in wells that supply the water treatment plant in that area. It was detected before the treatment process, but it still prompted this advisory. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell joining us live from Tinseltown with what we know so far. And Ann, how this is affecting the many restaurants in that part of town. It's the weekend. Definitely a big inconvenience for restaurants, uh, bringing in ice, shutting down soda fountains here at Supa Noodle Bar in Tinseltown. They got this sign on the door. Due to current circumstances, the tap water in the Tinseltown area is contaminated. Want to note this is just a precaution for now, this boil water advisory. All drinks and food served from now on must be to go, but safe to consume. If you live in this area of Jacksonville Southside, JEA says you should boil your water for at least one minute before drinking it or cooking with it. It's a precaution against possible E. coli contamination and an inconvenience to thousands of people and dozens of restaurants. Francis Cruz manages Supa Noodle Bar in Tinseltown. Have y'all had a boil water advisory at this location before? Never. I've never experienced that. I've been a manager in this area for like the past 15 years. I've never experienced this before. The presence of E. coli in the wells means they may be contaminated with human or animal waste. The bacteria can cause diarrhea, cramps, nausea, and headaches. Young children and people with severely compromised immune systems are especially at risk. It is concerning. I just got uh, got off the phone with the uh, health inspector just to make sure everything is good, um, making sure that we're doing everything properly. The good news for Soup and Noodle Bar is the mainstays on their menu are boiled anyway, but they're still having to put a pause on using their dishwasher and soda fountain. They're also bringing in bottled water. Any idea how much that might end up costing y'all? Um, maybe a couple of hundred dollars, maybe 500, maybe more. Who knows? Uh, it just depends on how long it will take. JEA says they anticipate resolving the issue within three days. A spokesperson with UNF says they've alerted students and staff about the boil water advisory and they expect it to last at least 24 hours. JEA says all other recent water safety tests have been satisfactory. They have shut down their water treatment plant in the Sandalwood area for now. We also reached out to a rep with St. John's Town Center about how this will affect all the restaurants there, but we have not yet heard back. For now, live in Tinseltown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.